Hello, good day everyone, Rohilyu here, and today I'm going to share to you steps on how to share Pear Deck linked to your teams to make your class more interactive and exciting for students. So let's start. So if you are already on your teams, all you need to do is to look for the plus sign found at the top of your screen. So click on the plus sign, that means add tab. So if it's your first time, Hair Deck will not be showing on some of the apps icon. So you can just click on the search button and type on it. And if it's already showing here on the icons, click on it. So we got Pear Deck here. Click on Pear Deck. Then Pear Deck will ask you for the first time to log in with your username and password. That is the same username and password that, that you are using on Teams. Then you can select a file that you wanted to share to your students. So click on Select File on OneDrive. If it's your first time, you can just simply look for the upload and look for the files on your documents. Some files I have already here been using some the Pear Deck and shared to my class. So I have some files already located here. So I'm going to show you how to do it for the first time. So click on the upload, then go for files. Then you can choose already here some of the files or the PowerPoint that you wanted to share to your class. So supposing I'm going to, che to check on this spelling, this is my lesson for today or for the next lesson. Then I click on the open file. It will be uploaded already on your hair deck documents. So since I have already used it, it is what's already here. So I'm just going to look for it. So spelling, Ray and enter these are prefixes then click on select then it will be loaded here on Pear Deck and it will be save the moment you click on save it will now going to be linked to your teams okay this is how it's going to look like all right and it will give you the code so it will be also shared on the post just like this so from the post students can already see that you have shared to them the link so students may click on this so once they click on this it will direct them to Pear Deck itself so let's try to click okay so students once they click on that they can be already directed to Pear Deck and they will be asked also to log in with their username and password the same as they're using on the Teams and then they have to log in with the code you can share it to them QIDRRM okay so I'm going to close this first to show you that the PowerPoint that I'm using for the class now it's on the Teams for the students it's going to be full screen so they can see the full PowerPoint itself. You can also see in your class roster here on the right side, the name of the students that have already logged in. So since I don't have my students here yet, so no names are showing. So I'm going to show you also how students can log in it using their tab or iPad. So if students are using a tab on an iPad, all they need to do is to go to their browser. So for example, they are on their iPad, so ask them to go to Google Chrome or to Safari. So let them type on their screen, joinpd.com. So on their browser, tell them to type joinpd.com and click on enter. Then Pear Deck will ask them with the code, okay? so. As you share the code to the students, they can enter that. So Q I D R R M. Q I D R R M. So once it is already been shared and encoded, Pear Deck will automatically going to be loaded on your student's screen. So this is how it looks like. 
the student's screen is full and they can see the full presentations that you like. So as you are having a meeting, you can also click on the shared documents so that the students can also see it on their Teams screen. But if they are on Pear Deck, automatically their screen, this uh, presentation will prompt or pop up on the screen. Okay, so this is your this is the teacher's presentation. Teachers can also will have full access if you're going to click on open projector view. So when you click on open projector view, the teacher will have also the full view of the pair deck. The same as the other students. Okay, so I have double account in here with students and the teacher, so it's trying to get error. So I'm just having the children's view here and have the teacher on the teams. Okay, so this is your PowerPoint with the students. For example, you have this as your starter activity and you want the students to sort these words to a different group. This is very helpful because Pear Deck would have this. You can share this PowerPoint slide to them and they can write all of here on the boxes. Simply click on new prompt here at the bottom of the Pear Deck. New prompt. So then click on this arrow on the side to find that slide. Then you have here already that slide. So you can ask students to, to write by text so they can just write on the chat box located here for their answers. But if you wanted to ask them to write on the boxes, so instead this is very useful. You ask them to draw on here, okay? So you share that on the students, so waiting for responses. Now I'm going to go to the student's view. So this is the student's view. I could have the text here, then I go to the boxes, then I could put here replay as my answer. Okay, then we could have here, sorry. So it's just an error on it, just anyway. And so I have shown you how the students can write on it. So I can see it already, the, the response from a student's here. So my name is here and my response, replay on it. Okay, again, QIDRRM is the code. So students can again join, joinpd.com. Q-I-D-R-R-M is the code. Again, because this is my first time, so if it's students first time, they are going to ask with their students um, username and password. So tell them that it's the same as their username and password in Teams. So I have here replay. I could uh, write here, scribble some some words here using different colors or I could just write the type here so I could have interchange. So once I have type on that, teacher can also see on your screen students' responses. So you can have it by columns or list a grid view. So you can have more view for the students' responses here. So this is what I ask and what I like about the Pear Deck because I can see my students' responses right away. So I can see if my students are writing the answers correctly, okay? So I can go on with my presentation now, share to them with my learning objective. So it, this is now on their screen. I could ask them also some critical thinking questions. So what do you wonder about today's topic? So if I'm going to show this as prompt, I will ask students to type on it. Then this is the student's view. So I could write already here on my Pear Deck screen, okay? So I put this as new prompt, as text. Okay, so students now can write 
on their screen with this. Okay, I think the topic is about prefixes. So students can have their responses, teacher can read already their answers. Okay, so those things. Again, just click on your PowerPoint slide, then look for the new prompt down below here and look for that prompt and then share that to your students whatever type of answers do you want them to write. Aside from that, you have also different templates here where you can show to your students asking them about their opinion. You can have also here draggable where students would have to drag what they're feeling about the lesson. Okay, stress level, you can use KWL, KWL from here. You can have some reflection, some drawing of things that you, they learned from here and a lot more. Okay, you may scroll all of the templates here and try to let your students enjoy your activity with them. Okay, so again, you can have the drill, share this as prompt to your students. They can already write from here, and this is my screen. I can have my answer right away here. Teachers would have the responses right away. So I hope this video helps more features to come next time. So stay tuned with this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye everyone.